I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. This is not going to be a race between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Here's a black pill from Tucker Carlson. So they've done everything they can by legal means, which are, in fact, extra legal means, if we're being totally honest, completely third world stuff, to take the opponent out of the race, and they're still losing. So, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. This is not going to be a race between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. I would bet my beloved fishing camp in Maine that that is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So what will happen? Well, I don't know. One of like 400 distinct other possibilities? I mean, I just can't even, you know, pick one. By the way, if it's Gavin Newsom, we all should be very, very concerned. That guy's scary, and I mean it. I mean it, it's scary. Yeah, but that's a whole separate conversation. But the point is, this, is, this will be forced. These issues will be forced soon, like in a year. And the road from here to November of 2024 is going to be filled with developments nobody in this room could foresee. I can promise you that. So it's about to get very serious, uh, for sure. It's, you know, it's only leadership of the world at stake, which is also, by the way, we now know the most lucrative possible political franchise in human history. <laughs> so everything's at stake. What wouldn't they do? What haven't they done? What might they do next? Let your imagination run wild. So the question, the only one that you can answer is, how will you prepare yourself for that? So that's what we call the black pill, right? The black pill, of course, is that things are really out of control and they seemingly will get worse. The white pill is the last line that he said, what will, what will you do about it? And I actually believe that as crazy as it might get, right, whether, whether they push Biden over and then the day after he's you know, uh, sworn in once again, they somehow replace him with Gavin or whether they get Gavin in first or they do some trickery with Kamala or all the tricks they could do or whether they put, whether or not I think Trump is the best Republican to be president right now, whether they put, whether they allow Trump to run or whether they stole the election or what, all of those things, those are, that's a lot of stuff that is beyond your day-to-day -day life, right? You can care, you can fight, you can wake up, you can do all of the things that I always talk about on this show but you can take a little more power also within your personal life. And there's one thing you can do really more than anything else. And now dare I flash back to Dave Rubin in April of 2020 doing a video for PragerU entitled The Bravery Deficit. Because you do have some power, but you have to exercise it. Here's the good news. If you currently reside in the United States of America, you live in the freest country in the history of the world. Beyond some basic limitations, you can do whatever you want and, with hard work, become whatever it is you want to be. Pretty great, ain't it? So why the long face? Because you know that something is out of whack. You really don't feel free to say what you want, or share your true thoughts on Facebook, or even associate with those you'd like to. And why is that? I'll tell you why. Because there's a mass affliction spreading throughout the Western world. It's called the bravery deficit. People, good people like you, are afraid to say what they think. And there's little wonder. So what can you do? Believe it or not, the solution is not that hard. Step one, think for yourself. Step two, say it out loud. Don't take the path of least resistance. Be better than those who would silence you, deplatform you, and mob you. How? Just stop being afraid. Man, we got to get that guy on the show. Could someone reach out to him? I mean, talk about somebody making some sense over a serious, you know, course of time. It's all, it's all there. You guys get it, guys. Speak up, share videos, tell your friends what you think. Like, wake up more people.